A rhombus has four congruent sides. Where does that come from? Where does this come from? A rhombus is a special parallelogram. One of the characteristics of a parallelogram is that the diagonals bisect each other. A special characteristic of a rhombus is that the diagonals are perpendicular as well. If we say the diagonals bisect each other, we could say that this part is x, and this part is x. And we could say that this part is y, and this part is y. So let's suppose I take this rhombus and I separate the two triangles and talk about the areas of them separately. We said that the height of this triangle was y and the height of this triangle was y. That's coming from these two places here. And we know that the distance across here is an x and another x and the distance across here is an x and another x. The area of this triangle that I took from half of this figure would be one half, the base, which is two x's, times the height. And the area for this triangle would be the same thing, half of the base times the height. And since we want to combine these two triangles together to get that entire rhombus, we would add those together. Well, if you have half and you have half of the same thing each time, then you have a whole. So this would be the same thing as a whole two x times y. And another way to look at this, you know it might seem a little bit funny, is that if we put a half in front of this, we can compensate by putting a 2 in front of the y. Well, half of 2x and 2y is really, where did the 2x come from? This distance across here, which was the distance from g to n. And gn is one of the diagonals. And what is 2y? It's the other diagonal. So really what we have here is one half of diagonal one, and that's gn, times diagonal two, which is my, which is where we get the formula for the area of a rhombus.